There we go. I don't know why it always does that, but it does. What's going on, man? Y'all walk with me real quick. We'll be right back. Big fella, what you working with over there, man? That Bojangles bangles. You don't like them. I ain't say I don't like Bojangles. I ain't say I ain't like Bojangles. I said I don't like Bojangles. You said you don't like Bojangles. I ain't never said that. Yes, you have. I ain't never said I don't like Bojangles. You know what I'm talking about? I mess with that Louisiana River boat, man. Y'all, hold on. We finna get to it, man. I'm I'm trying to uh, <clears throat> get my spirits up real quick. But we finna go live, man. We finna talk about it. Yo, head, what up? All right, man. Let's get it together. Get it cracking. I feel the need to uh, to do my disclaimer on this one. If I don't say your name, I'm not talking about you. If I don't say your motorcycle club, I ain't talking about your motorcycle club. To all my OMCs, Outlaw Motorcycle Clubs, for those of you that don't know what OMC stands for. This is my own personal opinion, non-biased. This is all according to my research and my development. So it's not to go against anybody or anything that's being taught or anything that's being gone that's been put in effect. And it's not for you or anybody else to take anything and say, hey, sales said we no longer have to do this or we have to do it. So don't, don't put me in it. I'm simply bringing the education. I'm simply bringing the conversation. I'm simply bringing the topics. All right? So it is what it is, man. We own. We own. We own. So let's get it. All right. I've been posting topics on Facebook. Uh, I've been going at. It. I'm trying, and the topics that I post are in in in, um, in reflection to um, just conversation. It's for you guys to take it and elevate your mind. It's for you guys to take it and, uh, and, 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 and build your own knowledge, build your own education base. Uh, okay. So here we go. Let's, let me pull up one of my, let me pull up my first topic. Okay. Cause we're going, we're going to go topic by topic. I've been dropping bombs on y'all. All right. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see where we at. All right, okay. All right. One of the things we're going to talk about is social clubs. A lot of y'all got the impressions that the social clubs are directly related to the MC. And they're not. If you think that the social clubs was birthed or was created to be a part of the MC or to support the MC, then you're wrong. You're 1,000% wrong. Social clubs are social clubs. Motorcycle clubs are motorcycle clubs. Now, I know we got a whole bunch of new shit going on where they're saying that social clubs need to be up under MCs. And I'm going to tell you something. That's some new shit. That's some shit that was started by us as blacks, black MCs and everybody else, Okay. And for whatever, for the reason that it was so-called supposed to be started was to regulate the set. Well, understand this. The social clubs have nothing to do with the motorcycle club sets. See, the problem that I got with the whole concept of it all is this, okay? A social club functions as a social club and a motorcycle club functions as a men's club, okay? So, anything that we do, anything that we do, as far as the motorcycle said, if you don't have MC on your back, when you come to my event, and I'm a motorcycle club, and you come to my event, the only thing I'm looking for is are you an MC or are you a civilian? A civilian. Anything other than MC should be treated as civilian. I don't care what vest they got on, car club, social club, riding club, whatever. If you come to a motorcycle event and you don't have MC on your patch, then you're treated as a regular civilian. You're treated as a civilian. The rules of civilianship apply to you. There are no special rules. Oh, because they're in the SC, because they this. Listen, fellas, let me, let me tell y'all something. Quit expecting for everybody to bow down to you because you're in a motorcycle club. You feel what I'm saying? 
the SCs don't owe the women shit, and the, and the MCs don't owe the SCs shit. Period. It's just that simple. The SCs don't have to conform to the MC protocol. They have to conform to the civilian protocol. You feel what I'm saying? It's just that simple. If, if you're not in an MC, if you're in an MC, you conform to MC protocol. If you're not in an MC, then you, 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 you reform to the civilian protocol, i.e. we have rules for civilians, do's, don'ts, you know, what not to do, independent riders, you are a civilian, you can independent ride it all you want to. When you come to a motorcycle clubhouse or a motorcycle function, you are a civilian if you do not have MC on your back, period. Property ofs are civilians. They're guests. They're 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 t attached to. They're part of. Uh, you understand what I'm saying? A MC, but a pro property of is not an MC. They do not get MC privileges. They may get you know a few more you know selected treatment because of the property that they're attached to because of the MC that they're attached to, but a property of is anything that do not have MC on that vest should be treated as a civilian. That's all that they are. I'm just telling you, so we, we got to get away from thinking that the social clubs owe the MC. They don't owe us nothing. We don't owe them nothing. We don't have the right to regulate them and they regulate us and us come. Listen, let me tell you something, man. And this is all research documented. The whole, this is some nigga shit. This is some black folk shit. For real. This SC, MC, whatever it is. And I'm not telling nobody to change it. I'm just telling you due to my research. I'm just telling you what I know. You, you feel what I'm saying? I'm just telling you how the shit is. We, the MCs have no business in SC's business. SC's, <laughs> SC's have no business in MC shit. Period. If a SC, if a SC comes to your function, comes to your event, bike night or whoever else, you treat them as a civilian, period. I don't care what color their vest is, how shiny it is. I don't care who they sleeping with. And that's another thing. Let me tell you something. You have to be 21 years old to be in a motorcycle club. Okay. You got to be 21. That means, according to the rules and regulations of the law, you're supposed to be grown. So if you're grown and I'm grown and they grown, what, who do we care how many bodies the female got on her? You know what I'm saying? How many she done took down and how many? Because let me tell you something. More males, more male MC clubs are, are permiss... I mean, what, what, I, I, I said it on there earlier. What, 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 that was a, one of the other parts. Okay. Um, more MCs sleep around the SEs. Well, damn, so how's that? More MCs sleep around in SEs. You want to blame it on the woman? Or, oh man, she a hoe. She out here. I, I tell you, she couldn't do. She couldn't get there by herself. She couldn't get there by herself. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, sure. She can't get to be a hoe by herself. She can't get to be promiscuous by herself. Yes, sir. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you this. Most women, most women, if that is not their profession, most women care more about who they sleep with than men. You understand what I'm saying? Most women care more about who they sleep with than men. Because us as men, understand this. If it's a hole and it's wet, let me get in there. Mm. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I didn't, I didn't mean to go there. I, I didn't mean to go there. I'm sorry. Let me. Yeah. You say what, Mom? I did it on purpose. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you. The problem is though, if you shut your mouth. You're probably getting more holes than what you think. And if you think your vest didn't get you in that hole, you're sadly mistaken. Because let me tell you something about a woman. When she chews you, you chose, player. When she chews you, you chose. 
only the numbers are very few, very few niggas. Oh, let me keep it. Very few men have talked themselves into some, into that wet hole. All that talking you did, she already know you was gonna get the hole before you started talking. She gave you the hole. You didn't take the hole. She gave you the hole. I'm just telling you some real stuff, man. So you could you could cry out of these holes out here that's messing up to say no. No, they not. Understand this. The role of us. So we get to the. My, my question was. This what kicked it all off. The question was. What's the true role of a social club in regards to an MC? What role does a social club play in the MC? Not Nan. Not none, not none whatsoever. They don't owe the MC shit. Social clubs don't owe the MCs nothing. Not nothing. They don't have, they don't, they don't, nothing, nothing, not I. That's some nigga shit. That's some black folks made up to control some type shit shit. You understand me? Oh, we're going to get to the, we're going to get to the business today, this morning. Since y'all want to know, man, since, since y'all want to know, y'all wanted to bring it about to me, here it is, man. Again, I'm not trying to step on no toes. I'm not trying to change the order of things. I'm not trying to tell you you wrong. I'm not calling you a lie. I'm not doing none of that. I'm just telling you what my research shows and dictates. And I'm and, and I'm passionate about it, so I'm a little bit upset. So if my attitude seems fucked up, then hey, excuse M Wa. Yeah, that part. Uh the SCs don't owe them. What's the what, what's the direct affiliation? None. They civilians. They are. They got their own. They just civilians who decide to come together as a group of girls to do their thing. You feel what I'm saying? And they and they and they they heard about your thing, so they came to your thing. You feel what I'm saying? They follow your thing, so they fuck with your thing. They follow your thing, so they fuck with your thing. They come to fuck with you, but they don't owe you shit. They they don't owe you nothing. We, we don't even have no concern about what they do or how they do it. The only thing we care about, you feel what I'm saying, is when you come to our party, respect it. Follow the rules and regulations that we lay down. You understand what I'm saying? That's all. That's it. You're a regular civilian with a pretty vest on. You know what I'm saying? That long hair, nice hair. And I appreciate you for coming to my party because I don't like to see a whole bunch of just... Uh, 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 dicks hanging around. When we come to the party, I do like to get on the dance floor and dance. You feel what I'm saying? I do like to, hey, okay, damn, baby, got it. I love all of that. So I appreciate you for coming. And let me tell you something. All of you MCs that got true MCs supporting you, following you, you know, helping you with your clubhouses and, and doing that, you are in a very blessed situation. Understand that. You have to look at your MC when you got an SC that wants to attach themselves to you, not forced to attach themselves to you because we don't have to owe them shit, man. They don't owe us shit. But when you got an SC that wants to attach themselves to you and wants to be a part of how you get down and wants to, to do all of that, come on, homie. That's a blessing. That's, that means that you own your MC shit, man. That's what that means. That means you own your MC shit. It's just like in your, it's just like in a regular relationship. When you find a woman that want to put up with your shit, hang with you, she like you, she fuck with you, she want to cook and clean for you, that means you on your man's shit. I'm just saying. No, no, no. Daryl, no. An SC does not have to be attacked. Um, listen, and again, that's some new shit. That's the, that's the way we got it going on now. But that, an SC... The SCs were never originally birthed to be a part of the MCs. That's some shit that just in, over time that intermingled. You feel what I'm saying? Now, what's been around longer, SCs or MCs? SCs. SCs been around longer than MCs. Do your homework. Do your research. Social clubs was around, around way longer than motorcycle clubs. You, you feel me? They were. Just telling you some real shit. Do your history. Do your homework. Females were socializing in social clubs, doing social. They called them. Um, I forgot my girl Teresa Golden Hall called them social, social something clubs. I forgot what they were called, but they was doing that before. You know what I'm saying? 
MCs were technically labeled MCs. So SDs come before MCs. Social savings clubs. You understand what I'm saying? What's the true meaning is that a women were supposed to be women that wanted to be property, but some men wanted to have no women in their club. Ah, uh, nah, Lisa, I hear you. The property of thing, and let me tell you something about the property of, okay? The property of thing was simply a way to honor the woman, to protect her and keep her safe from the looking eyes and the managed mouth of us men. You feel what I'm saying? Because you know how we get down as men in a motorcycle club. And when we in the clubhouse, somebody walk by, damn little mama, you might even reach out there and grab her on the ass. Well, you think twice about that when she got that property of on her back. You understand me? You think two, two, three times when you see what that property of, hey, uh, you don't even speak. You might even cut the eye and get the little quick look in. Let me tell y'all something, women. Oh, we eyeball fucking the shit out of you. Most of you women have been nine months pregnant the first time we saw you. Period. You, as soon as they saw you, damn, blue baby up in her, that fast. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You understand me? I'm just telling you some real shit, man. <laughs> Today, this ain't the day for any sensitive ass shit. This ain't the day. The Alfredo, find out for yourself. I'm not going to, I'm doing my homework. I'm just telling you, man. Yeah, I, I'm telling you some real, I'm doing my homework, man. Understand this, ladies. Uh, most of you females, if if looks can get you pregnant, some of you females is nine months pregnant instantly when a nigga see you. Automatically. Automatically, a nigga got the whole story laid out. You done been pregnant. We done fucked. We together. Let it go. And boom. Uh -huh. Yeah. Automatically. I'm just telling you some real shit. You understand me? So, again, I'm going to say this for the last time. And, I, and I'm done with because I don't want to keep harping on this because people are going to say I'm badgering, I'm badgering, I'm badgering, I'm badgering. No, I'm not. Okay. Um, social clubs have no relationships, no, no ties that there have to be rules and regulations put down concerning MCs. All I'm going to tell you is some new shit. It's some black folk shit. That's what it is. That's some new shit. That's some black folk. I done talked to my white folks. I done talk. Social clubs was not births to be helpmates to MCs. Didn't know MCs say, hmm, let me go and start this social club so that they can help us do the cooking and cleaning and, and run the bar. And they can run the bar, but they can't touch the money. Hmm, okay, let me let me get let me start this SC. Hey y'all, y'all wanna be my SC? No, nigga, that's not how it was started. Not at all. <sighs> okay. Like I said, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit hype. Flacco said that I'm a little bit hype. I'm getting a little teary-eyed because I want y'all to understand what I'm trying to tell you. Um, I, I don't know what they've been. See, I'm, I'm off the MC set. All I'm telling you is some of the rules. I'm, I'm hearing that some of the MCs in certain parts of the states is trying to regulate car clubs. What in the? Listen, man, we got enough problem as MCs to be worried, to be worried about S. We haven't even perfected brotherhood yet. Nigga, we've been emceeing 50 years, 60 years, and we still ain't even perfected brotherhood yet. But we worried about the SCs and the RCs and the CCs and the QCs and the Bs and the GCs and the S. Man, please, knock it off. Alfredo, do your homework. Don't take nothing that I say. Do your homework. Research it. Get passionate about the shit that you're a part of. Get passionate about the shit that can get you killed. Get passionate about the stuff you say you love. I'm just telling you some real shit. I'm just telling you some real shit. Don't no MCs got no business being worried about no SCs bullshit. The only problem I got with the SC is if you come to my MC and start trouble. That's it. You come to my MC and disrespect the MC. Understand this. Your sister is in the SC. Oh, I'm 
They're not your sister. My sister is in the SC. But she come to my MC and got a problem with another female in the SC. Bitch, you better stand down. You over here at my joint. I don't give a damn what she did. Sit your ass down. And that's my sister. Period. That's your sister. That's your auntie. That's your girlfriend or boo thing or whatever you want to call it. You understand me? The only thing that an SC better do in an MC is when you're around an MC, if you're at an MC function, is respect the rules and regulations of the MC. Okay? Understand this. SCs, when you come, any civilian, SCs, you are civilians at an MC function. That's all you are is a civilian with a pretty, with a pretty, oh, all y'all got on a nice little vest on, pink, green, blue, purple. Because I'm going to tell you this. There is no such thing as a motorcycle vest. I called 15 leather companies. Say, hey, man, I would like to get you guys motorcycle vests. They were like, sir, we don't have a motorcycle vest. We got vests that people use for motorcycling. No, no, I want the motorcycle vest. There is no such thing as a motorcycle vest. There's just vests. Whether you ride, you can use it to ride your horse. You can use it to ride your cow. You can use it to ride your motorcycle. You can use it to ride your jet ski. You can use it to ride in your car. You can use your vest to ride in wherever the hell you want to ride in. Period. They don't make a motorcycle vest. Strictly for motorcycles. Not even Harley Davidson. Imagine that. So now you got a problem with the color of a vest. They can't wear black vests. Boy. Alfredo, you're saying, <laughs> I'm sorry, Kim, folk. Um, Fredo, you're saying, are you here to educate and enlighten? You keep saying the same thing. And I'm saying the same thing over and over. Maybe I'm, I'm sorry. You start, I, I'm sorry. Like I said, this is one of the videos that's going to probably have a whole lot of issues. And But again, I'm not going after nobody. I'm not telling nobody to change the rules. I'm not, if, you, if you are a part of this organization or if you're a part of whatever is going on and this is what's going on, then this is what's going on. If that's what makes the set roll where you at, then roll with it. General, I'm just giving you grown man and grown woman factual actuals and researches. That's all I'm giving you. Okay. Don't no SC or no MC shit. Don't no MC or no SC shit. Just that simple. When an SC come to your event, you treat them as a civilian. SCs, that mean when you come to an event, you can't bring your big purse with the gun in it. All you need is your ID and your little credit card and a few dollars that you tuck in your little titties. Yeah, that's all you need. <laughs> right there and hold your hands up so you can get patted down. All right, go on in. Uh, uh, that's all you need. That's all you're supposed to have. You ain't supposed to be bringing in no big purses. You're not bringing in your boot, your boot thing gun. Because the only person that's supposed to have guns in the MC is the MC that's hosting the event. They, don't, they club is the only one that's supposed to have guns and weapons in the MC at the party. What do I look like letting you bring a gun to my party? So you going to security. You're going to be the security for my security. You going to secure my security? No, nigga, this is our spot. We secure the security around here, man. Period. It's just, it is what it is. You know what I'm talking about? So, again, I don't mean to step on nobody's toes this morning. I know it's going to be some phone calls, sell, trip, and sell, doing this. I just had to say, y'all ask for it. Y'all ask for it. It is what it is. What they bring at CC4 only cash a lot. It, uh, no, no, no. If you come to my, listen, listen. If you come to, uh. If you come to my get down, you understand me? If you come to my get down, I want every, any kind of money you got. I want it every way possible. I want credit cards. I'm taking EBT. I'm t if you still got the OG food stamps, I, I got somebody cashing them too, man. You know what I'm talking about? I got somebody cashing them, them too. I'm an independent rider affiliated with a whole lot of motorcycle clubs. I love to be educated on the protocol. I show love. Hey, and that's your only responsibility is to show love. Be respectful and get respected and love back. That's it. You don't owe the MC nothing. They don't owe you nothing. So when you come to the door and civilians is $20, and you pull out your $20, pay to get in, get patted down, and, and go in there and have a good time. Anything other than that is disrespect to the MC. Period. Social clubs, you are civilians when you come to a motorcycle function. That's it. If a motorcycle club is 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 handling their business and... um uh. 
Okay. My bad. Don't nobody carry guns. I'm, I got to refresh that. I'm just saying. The hosting club don't carry guns. So, again, I appreciate you for that, Goldie, because there we go. They, somebody going to take this and send this to the CBIA, FBG, uh, the POA, the, 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 yeah, they're going to send it to the Alphabet Boys. And we don't need the Alphabet Boys using my videos to, you know what I'm saying, to do whatever. Anyway, Grown Man 101, Grown Woman 101. This is me. This is the shit I'm on, 2018 Independent Rider. Grown Man Rider. You know what I'm saying? Doing my thing. So that's what that is. Now, if your MC is handling their business and they're fortunate enough to have a uh, any organization, SCRC, that want to attach themselves to that and help you guys with the load, do your thing. Do your thing. You are you. That means you handling your business. You feel what I'm saying? Um, you handling your business and somebody loves the, what y'all doing as a motorcycle club to want to attach themselves and help you lighten the load on some of the activities and some of the stuff that you're doing. Be grateful. But do they owe you that? No. No. They don't owe you nothing. And as far as who fucking who and all that, that's that minds your business. You know what I'm saying? If you if if you ain't getting it and somebody else is, then kudos for them and non kudos to you. It is John White, but that's why I was just saying that. I'm just saying as far as the big persons, man. As far as the big person. I just can't. <laughs> Flacco, I'm sorry, man. I know, see, because all of my friends out there, Flacco, y'all my friends. And I hate to, I hate to, you know, speak like this because it puts, you know, people be get to tripping on sale. And I'm sorry, man. Uh, and again, I apologize. Let me see who, um. That extracurricular activity that nobody else's business wax. That part. Thank you, Nick Johnson. That's the extracurricular activity. Okay. Um, so, again, I, I do want to apologize. I'm not trying to step on no toes. I'm not trying to change the order of how shit is going in your part of the world, in your neck of the woods. I'm not trying to do that. Anyway, that's, that was not my, my goal and or intentions, I promise you. Um, hey, it, it, it just is what it is. But let me tell you something. If you get away from making money and get back to MCN, a lot of the stuff might be corrected instantly. If you get away from making money and get back to MCN, I know, Sandra, I'm just, listen, man. I got to stay strong for this one because this is my passion. It's, it's, it's overwhelming me. I get, I get upset about this stuff anyway. If you get back to MCN and stop trying to make all the money, a lot of this stuff will be corrected. If you start respecting your civilians, if you start respecting your civilians and realize that you are blessed to have civilians that want to come hang out and function with you at your motorcycle event, it just might make a little bit more sense. <laughs> Say, man. I hate. Uh, I don't know. I just, I just hate the the, uh, the bullshit and the fuckery. Sometimes it just overwhelms me. Okay. Whew. Okay. So the SCs came before MCs. Do your research. The MCs came from the OMCs, the Outlaw Motorcycle Clubs. Most of your Outlaw Motorcycle Clubs come from members of regular 99% clubs. That's the history on that. Um, MCs sleep around more than SCs. That's a known fact. How you going to call the SCs a bunch of hoes when the MCs are twice as, ma as much hoes as the MCs, as the SCs? That's a fact. Okay, let me let me let me get let me get back on point. All right, um, I love y'all. Fuck, I love y'all. Um, it's just time out, man. It's just time out. I'm I'm sorry. I'm getting worked up. All right, listen. Okay. The reason why I didn't want to do this live was because uh, all over the world, 
there's a whole lot of fuckery going on all over the world. All over the world. Where is the proof that SCs were here before MCs? I want to teach this, but won't be able to answer that question. Well, you need to do the homework. I'm not, I'm doing my homework. I'm doing my research. I actually did a show on my radio show. And when I had the radio show, I did a play, I did a whole show where I brought in a female that was started off as an SC. They didn't know nothing about motorcycle clubs, but she ended up meeting a dude that rode motorcycles. And then that's how her S her social club that it was already in formation was able to mix and mingle with the MC club because they used their clubhouse. Because he, what you don't know, what you should know, all of y'all should know. Not you. I'm not talking to you in particular, Andre, uh, uh, my man, cause I'm gonna bring you on in a minute. My man, Andre, I'm not talking to you specifically. All I'm telling you is, back in the day, if you didn't have a motorcycle club, you couldn't you couldn't be in existence. All motorcycle clubs had to have clubhouses. Period. All that old starting the club in your living room and all that, and we going no. You had to have a motorcycle club. Woosah. thank you, versatile Woosah. Um, yes, I am Shantae. All right, so just understand this. Grown men and women respect grown men and women. Grown men and women do grown men and women shit. If you want to know what's the role of the SCs and the MCs, none. Absolutely nothing. What do the MCs owe the SCs? Nothing. What right do we got to be in their business? None, technically. But like I said, times have changed. Things have changed. So we're intermingling with a whole bunch of people that we don't have no business in. Again, if the MCs were to concentrate on being the true meaning of brotherhood, if they were to concentrate on putting all the energy into the past, because I keep telling y'all, brotherhood is not in the brother. Brotherhood is is not in the brother. If you're looking for brotherhood in your brother, that's in your club, you're not going to find it. It's not there. Brotherhood is in the patch. Everything you do in your motorcycle club is supposed to be for the better, the betterment, the benefit and the love of the patch that you have on your back, your colors. Quit looking for brotherhood in the individuals. Understand this. When you respect the patch, when you do it all for the patch, then you as a brother is a benefit. It's a bonus. When me and you click up and we become tight, that's the bonus. But that patch is what it's all about. When I got to correct you, I'm not correcting you because you're my brother. I'm correcting you because you did something wrong to the patch. Huh? Y'all ain't listening. This ain't what y'all want to hear. I'm tripping. I'm getting all teary-eyed. and whew. Social clubs. RCs, CCs, whenever you join an organization, please don't make the mistake of joining it for the individuals in the club. That's why y'all can never stay true to the club. That's why you got so many people jumping ships in club because you joined the club because you and her was partners or you and him was boys. And now you and him done fell out. And guess what? One of y'all got to go. T.Y., answer to your question, because some niggas started that. Because some black folks started that. Understand what I'm telling you. If you take the time to know what the patch stands for, to know what the patch means, to love, to fall in love with the patch, 
everything else is a bonus. Your, the, the people, the people that are in the club is a bonus. Oh my goodness. All right, so. Whew. Recap, SCs don't owe MCs nothing. MCs don't owe SCs nothing. The only business that we should be worried about is MC business. I don't care what the SCs are doing. I don't care what the RCs are doing. I don't care what the CCs are doing. I don't care about none of that. The only thing else that matters is the MCs. And when you, ladies, if you come to an MC function, you are just a civilian with a pretty vest on. It's only two people in the MC world, MCs and civilians. There is no, there, there is nothing else. There is nothing else. We have no right. Independent riders, you're civilians. I'm sorry. Civilians have rules. It's just like when, when a person comes to your job, they got to stop at the front desk. You're an employee, you get to walk right past the front desk. But if you don't have that name badge on, then you got to stop at the front desk, sign in, get checked in, and wait for somebody to come down and escort you to wherever it is you're trying to go. But when I'm an employee, I walk right past the front desk and go wherever I want to go. It's the same thing. SCs are guests at an MC function. They're civilians. That's all that they are. If you happen to be considered a special guest, then you're a special guest. But you're still a civilian. You're a special civilian guest. I am a civilian on the motorcycle set. FHO is a civilian on the motorcycle set. I have to follow the rules of the MC, which is respect the MC, which is uh, don't bring nothing that you ain't supposed to just bring yourself and whatever money you need to to do it up. Bill, Bill, uh, uh, in theory, that sounds great, but MCs let civilians infiltrate their club and the lines get blurred. That's the MC fault. That's the MC fault. Because you got two choices. You got two choices when you come to my MC event. Either follow the rules or get the fuck out. And you could take, and getting out, you got two options. You could take the window or the stairs. That's it. You got two options when it comes to functioning or to respecting the rules in my MC. Either follow the rules or get the fuck out. And if you don't want to leave on your own, we got two options for you. The windows or the stairs. <laughs> I mean, what else do you want me to tell you? What, I, I, what else do y'all, what, talk to me. Tell, I don't know what y'all saying, man. Um... I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm, I'm worked up. Let me see. I had a uh, couple of people. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, what was that? It was right here. Andre, where you at, man? Um, let me let me bring my partner on back draft. I just need a break. Let me let me bring somebody else on because I don't. I, it's so much stuff that I. And again, I promise you, I'm not doing this to start no shit to be messy. I'm just telling you the truth. A lot, too many phone calls. A lot of people. Um, it's just been calling me about it. It just is what it is. Do your homework. Do it. I mean, got uh, super worked up and got emotional. My, you know, I don't know. I got to stop doing that. But that's probably one of the flaws in me. My passion is sometimes over. Sir, how you doing today, sir? What's, what's up, man? How's it going? Hey, man, I'm trying to hold on. Well, you said about food.
know how it goes. I mean, brother, like I said, I you know, a lot of times people think that I'm on purpose or maliciously, you know, doing stuff or whatever. I'm just telling you, I'm a research a history, but I love it. I love research. I love conversation. I love, you know, because it's just what I want to do. I'm not a perfectionist. I just love it. And what I'm finding out, man, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's, it's crazy. Well, the thing about it is, man, like I said, a lot of places you go, and I, I try to tell these people, man, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, our white counterparts, you know, they don't have social clubs on their side. Period. So they don't deal with this shit. You know, and the, and the funny part about it is we, the, some of the social clubs don't understand that they are inviting guests on the motorcycle scene. And, you know, now you got some that understand that. And my my thing is, when a club is up under an MC and they doing crazy shit, you got to blame the MC. Because you, Period. If, you, if you're not learning, and the MC is not teaching you proper protocol to teach you how to conduct yourself on the MC set, then that's on the MC. It's not on the social club. It's just like one thing about it. You, you, you can take a baby, and you can tell your baby, don't touch this. Leave this right here. It could be a piece of cookie. Tell that baby don't touch it. And while you're there, they're not going to touch that cookie. But as soon as you turn your head, if you turn your head long enough, that cookie is going to start looking better and better to them. And eventually, they're going to they touch that cookie. It's the same thing. I see a lot of people, man, down here in my region in Texas, we we get overrun with that shit because of the simple fact that we don't we want to keep the peace. We don't want to necessarily tell them how it goes, man. You know, I, you, I'm one of your followers, and the thing about it is I've been – I've been on controversial shows, and you know that one of the best shows I had was a show that I was on with you in July. Uh, and the thing about it, man, a lot of people don't understand this. You just said a mouthful. You said MCs don't owe MCs nothing. No. MCs don't owe MCs nothing. Only thing MCs should be concerned with is, is, is MC business. And sometimes, though, we think MC business is actually governing the SC. And my thing is, that's not our business. Just like with 99 and Outlaw, you know, you one percent of you don't hardly see them getting involved in 99 shit. shit you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I think that a lot of people get it confused. But like you said, it has evolved to where we allow this to happen. And once it goes rampant, man, it's hard to really back in. Well, brother, like I said, this morning, I didn't know how it was going to turn out. I just knew that it was heavy on my heart, heavy on my mind. And with me, it's people like you, people like Flacco, my boy Kinfolk. Uh, I, I can't let y'all down. I just can't. So I, I got to bring it from the heart. I, really, I got to bring it from the heart. And I got to bring it from knowledge and education. You know, not just out here running my mouth. You feel what I'm saying? I got to bring it from a grown man standpoint. You feel right. what I'm saying? And that's just is what it is for me. Sorry. You know, sometimes it's... It's overwhelming, it ain't cool, but that just is what it is. Well, the thing about it is we got to also understand here. If, you, <coughs> excuse me, if you're trying to govern anybody as far as MC, let's just keep it. We, we need to keep it primitive on some things. We need to keep it simple on some things. If you are trying to govern somebody, how the hell are you going to govern me when I can look at something as simple as you are in an MC and you don't have a bike? <laughs> I mean, how are you going to govern me is, is I can look at something as, as simple as you're in the MC, but... You wear your vest backwards. You know mm. what I'm saying? How can I look at something as simple as you're going to govern me and you're in the MC, but you got all these patches on your back that's not even relative to the big patch on your back? So people don't even understand that. The, the, your name on the front is smaller than the patch on the back for a reason. It ain't all about you. You know what I'm saying? You're never bigger than the club. And I think what happens sometimes is we get with these women, and, and, and what happens, and I think, you know, I haven't been guilty of it on the motorcycle and, and per se aspect. But, you know, you get with people and you're like, damn, I don't want to piss them off. And it's not about pissing anybody off, man. It's about educating them. And people be like, well, back there, how can you speak on this? How can you educate? I did a whole uh, live feed on property of the other day. Some people are like, how can you speak on property of when you're not out loud? I was like, shit, because I learn. I, I, I ask questions. It's about the wisdom, man. Hell, you want to know what you're getting into. And that's my thing. And nobody's just gurus around here. I think it's more so if you're learning the right thing. But the first thing we need to tap is how are you going to say you're in the most side club, you ain't got no damn bike, but you want to regulate and educate somebody else. That's some crazy shit. So what we do is, you're talking about social club, but I know some guys right now, Seb, that you would think they, okay, 
coming out parties. How the hell a riot club and MC gonna have a damn coming out party? You know, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm like, you you would think that there's, you got a lot of social club motherfucking niggas around here. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. And what it is, no, is you you, you, you got, yourself. Yeah. You do got a lot of MCs that need to drop the M and pick up the S. For real. Yeah. You, you, it's a bunch of them that do need to drop the M on the MC and pick up the S. Yeah, and then what happened is, I mean, you said it, you said it, but the thing about it is, man, the brothers get mad. One thing, I got a brother, man, DJ Thunder, I don't know, he always says, ride my bike, mind my business. That's all he said. And if you doing that, you been about the MC culture and MC business, a lot of this shit will, will, will correct itself, like you said about the making the money. Now, if we go about real MC stuff, and not just about making all the money, I think it will be okay, but see, social clubs, you got, I'm, one of the reasons why we, we go, when we're talking about social clubs, one of the reasons why, because shit, let's just keep it real, if you got 24 members, 25 members in a social club, and it costs $20 to get in your party, and all 25 of them members pay $20, you're not looking at the fact that they still wrong in what they're doing, you're looking at that $20 you're going to get for all 25 of them members, and if I tell them they're doing this wrong, and they don't come to our party, that's twenty dollars for twenty five people. We just bet. Sometimes you just gotta bite the bullet on that shit, and as well as some MCs. And the only way you're gonna change some shit around here, let's just be real. You ain't gonna go take no shit. Cause if you gonna go take shit, you have done it twenty years ago. Okay. My thing is, you just gotta stop supporting people that you know that are totally doing wrong. There are certain people now whose parties I don't, and annuals or whatever they are, I don't even go to. I don't have a beef with them. I don't have a problem with them. I'm like, man, y'all not doing this right. So until y'all do it right, I just can't support you. You might not give a damn if bad guys don't come to the stuff. But at the same time, I could choose what I do. But a lot of these guys and a lot of these women don't understand why you said something or you just said a word. You said the SC came before the MC. The MC came before the OMC. No, you'd be surprised at how many motorcycle clubs don't even know about the AMA. You'll be surprised how I many the motorcycle clubs don't even know why we call 99% of the 1%. They don't take the time to learn and read, man, so you're educating a lot of people, bro. Hey, I love you. Salutes to you. I see you out there getting that bread. Let me hold something, man. Let, let me hold something. Hey, I'm, I'm sending it to you cash map right now, buddy. I'll talk to you later, man. All right, Daddy. I appreciate you. All right. Take care. Oh, man. Anyway. Um, I'm here, man. I just, I don't know what happened with this this morning, man. It just, it just went left. It didn't go left. It went truth. I mean, it is what it is, but that, that, that's what it is. Ladies and gentlemen, MCs, let's get back to learning how to develop brotherhood. Let's leave the SCs alone. Let them do the thing. When they come to your party, you treat them as a civilian. SCs, you are a civilian at an MC event. Just like this, I'm going to say this. MCs, you are a civilian at an SC event. If they got their little organization and then they coalition and your best don't say SC, then you are a guest at their, you are a civilian guest at their SC event. It ain't no MCs are higher than SCs. RCs are lower than MC. There is no in their RC world, they are on top of their game. In their SC world, that's their world, they're on top of their game. In the MC world, that's our war. We're on top of our game. So in the MC world, ain't nothing higher than the MC. I'm sorry. But that don't mean we're higher than your SC. No, sir. Get back to respecting what it's all about, men and women. Understand this. Ladies, all SCs, FHO love you. I support you. I'm a civilian just like you a civilian at an MC event, and we're going to have fun. Let me get a dance or two. You know, let me look at you. Like I said earlier in the video, you know what I'm saying, ladies, it just, it just enjoy it. Just enjoy the fact of being a woman, of being who you are, being your SC. Like I said, a lot of y'all don't even know. You've been pregnant by 30 niggas in one night. 30 different men that got you nine months pregnant by just looking at you. Period. I love it. I'm telling you what it is, what what the TI is for real, for real. I love it, man. You feel me? So that's that's what that is. Um, MCs sleep around way more than SCs. I'm gonna say that. I keep saying that. Think about what I'm telling you. MCs sleep around way more than SCs. So quit calling the ladies hoes and SCs is only here to sleep. No, they're not. They're not here to take your man. 
SEs ain't here to, to, to disrupt your household. Your household was already in disruption status, ma'am, period, or sir, because now you mad at, you mad at the, the, the club that you went to go visit. Your homeboy done disrupted your household or by, whatever it is. The MC didn't do it. The SC didn't do it. Don't quit blaming the MC and the SC for disrupting your household. Understand that. You hear me? Um, I don't know. I love y'all. I know that. I truly do. And I hope that, uh, you know, again, I gave my disclaimer, not stepping on no toes, not trying to be bigger and better than everybody. <sighs> All right. Anyway, it's your boy, Big Cell F-H-O-H-N-I-C. I love you. Peace.